everyone, it's great to be back. We have a nor'easter heading our way, and something interesting about this storm is there's unusually high uncertainty. Let's dive into it. But first, we're going to take a look at Yerushalayim, which got eight inches of snow in some spots. Will we get that much? Looking back to our areas, this is the classic nor'easter setup. We have a storm forming off the coast and moving northeast into our areas. So what is that going to look like for us on the ground? Well, Friday night, we could start seeing snow moving into our areas probably around the middle of the overnight and all the way into Saturday. Into Saturday now, though, we have the more intense part of the storm, potentially. This is where we could really start raking up our snow totals. Something else about the storm, though, is we will see a lot of wind. Here you can see the darker shades of purple represent higher wind gusts and therefore a risk of higher winds. Winds could cause visibility issues, also damage to power lines. That's always a risk involved in nor'easters. So they could cause blizzard conditions. So when you hear blizzard conditions, what does that mean? Let's learn a meteorology fact here. What is a blizzard? A blizzard is, has wind gusts of at least 35 miles per hour, sustained for a period of three hours, and visibility is reduced to a quarter mile. So when you hear that, now you'll be more informed. And this is also something to keep in the back of your mind as we see this storm approach us. We will keep you updated on the variables of the storm and its high uncertainty. But now let's dive in specifically to where we might see snow totals and what those might look like for our areas. Thank you, Noah. Now we're gonna take a look at our snow totals. So this is from the National Weather Service forecast. As you can see, the higher amounts are going to be kept towards the shore on eastern Long Island, and the lower amounts are going to be kept further inland in the Hudson Valley and northwest New Jersey. For most of us living in this area surrounding the city, there's going to be a very sharp gradient in snow totals. Between JFK and Bergen County, we're going to see the difference between 8 to 10 inches of snow and only 4 to 6 inches of snow. So let's take a look at if the storm stays further inland, we could see over a foot of snow in our area with higher amounts still happening towards the coast and lower amounts further inland, but overall much higher amounts. But if the storm stays out to sea, we could be looking at zero snow, no snow for our area, but this situation is highly unlikely. As you can see, however, from these three different model tracks, there is very high uncertainty as to where the snow bands are going to set up, if we're going to get a very small amount of snow, if we're going to get a lot of snow over a foot of snow. So for right now, we're expecting somewhere between 6 to 10 inches of snow. Towards over here, there's probably going to be more like 6 to 8, and over here, more like 8 to 10. The further you are from Long Island, the less you're going to get. The closer to the ocean, the more you're going to get. The track of the storm is still highly uncertain, so we will have to see what changes will be made to the forecast, but we will keep you updated. 